Hi everyone, and I'm Josie, and this is my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for joining me today. I do a lot of eyeshadow tutorials, so I'm going to start off, kick off the first uh, tutorial here, and I'm going to be using the Revolution Reloaded Iconic 3 palette to show you what it looks like inside. So I've got lots of uh, light pinks, and it looks like a nice burgundy here. Um, mostly shimmers in this palette. Also, there's no shade names on the palette but if you look at the back you've got like a number grid it's from one to five across to 15 so basically one to five etc etc till you get to 15. Um, make sure I'll put the shade number on the video for you so you should be able to follow along and um, yeah it should be fairly easy. Uh, before we start, I just want to let you know I've primed my eyes already, and I've used the P. Louise Base 2. Uh, very good primer, guys. If you've never not tried this yet, have a go. Um, your, your eyeshadow just doesn't budge with this stuff. It's really good. It's about £13 for a little tube like this, but it lasts forever and ever and ever. Uh, I've had this tube for a long time. I mean, a good year at least and it's still going <laughs> so really good primer lasts a long time not a bad price so grab it while you can all right so we're going to get started now and i've got two brushes that i'm going to use here today especially i'm using my sponge on a stick um i don't know what they call them really things but they're cool for shimmer shades and i'm using a like a no name buffer type brush and then i've got other kind of brushes here that i might use i've got a mix of brushes that i use regularly and they are the no name brushes like i've just showed you um my morphe brushes which are a mix of silver tipped and black tipped um and then i've got my silver tipped lamora brushes um which i got from my husband a couple of years back as a gift and uh, they're really nice as well so yeah just i'll use a mix brushes i will tell you what brush i'm using now you don't have to definitely have my brushes uh, if you've got you've got your own brushes please feel free to use them and pick whichever you want i'm sure everything will look fine so don't worry right so let's get started then right so the first thing i want you to do is i want to take I want you to take your finger and I want you to move your mouse up to the subscribe button. I want you to hit that and I want you to hit that bell and you'll get a message every time a new video of mine comes out. So you can kind of keep track of our makeup journey. It's just, you know, for me, it's, it's, it's kind of going from bare basics to you know, where, where else I end up to up at. So right now I'm kind of still in the beginnerish phase. So yeah, we've got lots of stuff to get through. All right, so I'm gonna take my M506 Tapered Mini Blender and I'm gonna go into the shade, oh, hold on a second, this starts from one. So I'm gonna go into the shade 11 and I'm using this Tapered uh, Mini Blender. So just get some product on that brush. It's tapping off the excess there. And let's just maximize my viewing here so you can actually get a better look at my eyes. And for some reason, it's not going to that. There we are. It's a bit better. All right, so you got that on my brush and I'm just start popping it on the outer part of my eye. And I'm just kind of just putting a little bit of a patch there and I'm going to do the same thing with the other eye just making like a triangle patch there with that shade so yeah I've got loads of palettes to go through I previously had another channel guys so if you kind of look at me and say hmm she's familiar it's because I used to have a channel called Beautifully Bipolar. And I the reason why I'm not using Beautifully Bipolar again is because I just think, you know, as hard as it is, um, there's such a stigma attached to mental illness. 
and I think maybe some of my possible viewers or subscribers thought, oh, she's mentally unwell, so we're not even going to look at her video. So I'm just trying to avoid that situation because I want people to enjoy my makeup. Uh, I know I'm not, like, the best at it or, you know, I'm just learning and I'm having fun. Uh, makeup makes me feel great, so, you know, why not? And if I get to yammer on, then that's even better, too, because I like to talk a lot sometimes. But I'm a really good listener, too. So, yeah, best of both worlds, I think. Got to be a little bit sometimes really flexible. So, just popping this again, just darkening that color a little bit. Okay. So I'm just going to clean that brush now. And I'm using a trusty sponge to clean my brush in, guys. You can get it from Amazon for a couple of pounds. Um, not very expensive at all. And believe me, you just swirl it around in the sponge and all the pigment comes off the brushes. It's really, really good. All right, so before I drop all my brushes, <laughs> I'm going to take my sponge here, magic sponge. If you don't have one of these, you need to get one. <laughs> you can get, I think you can buy them in a pack at uh, Amazon or you can alternatively buy one of those little eyeshadow palettes from Boots or you know any pharmacy and uh, they'll usually have a little sponge there. You can just use that. It'll work just as well. So I'm going to that shade number 15 with my sponge. It's going to get a good amount on my brush here. Sponge, sorry. I always get them confused. So I've got enough on my thing here, and I'm just going to do swipe, swipe across. And the other eye as well. Swipe. This is a technique by another makeup artist on this, uh, on YouTube, and she's very kindly shared this tip with everyone, so just want to give her a big uh, thumbs up for coming up with that. I think it's made a lot of people's life more easy. Right, so I'm just dragging that up a bit. Okay, right, so I'm going to clean that sponge. And the next shade I'm going to is going to be number seven. And I'm going to pop that in the middle. Put quite a bit on there. And so we're going to just move it a little bit more to the other side. There's some more of that number seven. I'm bringing it up a little bit because I want that uh, crease to show through. Okay, it's a little bit more of that number seven. Okay, I know it looks a bit messy at the moment. Don't panic. No panicking. All right, so I'm going to go into number four. And I'm going to pop that right beside that number seven. I hope this works. A little more than number four. Yeah, that was my that that was like a poem there for a second. A little more from number four. Yay. <laughs> right, okay, clean that sponge. And finally we're gonna go into number one. And I'm gonna pop that into my corner. And a little bit on the lower line, bottom of the water line, and here. a little bit up here. And this side. If this works, I'll be doing this a lot 
during a lot of my videos. Yeah, so I was clean that sponge off. And now I've got my no name, it's a wide bell with a hard kind of edge. And I'm just going to tap it. And you just tap it into the next color across. Back and forth, just mixing those colors. A little bit further across. Getting into that white now. Number one, I mean. So I'm just going to tap that in a bit, rub it a little bit to blend it in. Well, that looks interesting. That looks kind of okay. Let's do the other side. Just tapping it in, back and forth motions. You bring it up into your crease as well. A little more color in there. Padding, tapping, I mean, or padding, whichever you prefer to say. So I'm just going to blend that in the top corner here. Interesting, right? So I'm just gonna bring this up some more. Right, so it's looking not too bad actually. I'm gonna need some more color on there, I think though. Just a bit more to blend in. Right, so uh, I say so a lot by the way. So see? <laughs> I'll try not to say it. Okay, so I'm just going to clean that brush. And I'm going to go back into my sponge again. And I'm going to select the same colors that I did before. I'm going to select it number 15. And I'm popping that right down here. And the other eye. Careful here. I don't want the same angle as each other here. It's me messing it up again. I am trying to get it right on both sides here. Let's do that here. That'll do for me. A little bit more of that number 15. Right, so I've got that all right now in the corner. Again, I'm just going to go back into shade number seven. And we're going to put a little bit higher than it did last time. A little bit more color there. And the other side. And some more. I want it to blend really, really nicely, even across. So don't forget, don't to worry about applying too much pigment. It's it's all gonna blend in. So I'm just kind of drawing a little kind of line right at the top here just a little uh, I, don't know, I don't know how far up to blend gives me a bit of a guide put keep, keep 
putting on as much shadow as you want um, so you get a good blend. I just need to put a little bit more on mine and then we'll start blending again. Okay, let's clean that sponge and we'll go into the next color which is number four. And I'm just going to pop that beside it. Again, I'm just going to beat it up a little bit. And the other side. And some more. And clean that sponge. And finally, number one, again, just right in that corner. I've just blended it right into that corner. Okay, let's clean that sponge. Have a drink of my coffee because I'm absolutely thirsty. Back to that big bump, bump, that big bumpy, no not bumpy, the um, flat headed brush. <laughs> Trying to be clever and it's not working out for me, you know? Alright, so here we go. Tap, 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 cross. I've put it up a little bit higher this time. And just blending it in two colors at a time. A good blend of colors all across. Just tapping it in that corner. Just giving it a little bit of a swipe just to bring it up a bit. And the other side. Just gonna bring it up a bit again. Just tapping it up. And start tap bringing the tapping it across the next color. I want them to melt away into each other. That's looking pretty damn good if you ask me. Very nicely blended. I'm just going to get that outer corner again. I'm just going to drag it a little bit up. Wow, that is so cool. I'm just going to drag it across a little bit, just swiping it back and forth. It's getting a better blend, especially on that lid. And the same thing on the other side, just tapping into each other. Just touching up. So that looks really blended, guys. Um, you know, using that technique from that other uh, makeup artist. I can't remember her name. I must remember her name. Go on a page and thank her. As a beginner, I've always struggled on you know, getting my colors to blend really, really well. Uh, you know, you usually just take a lot of work, but this was just such an easy tip and brilliant tip as well. I'm just going in and I'm just blending it in a little bit more. Especially want that dark sheet to move up a little bit. Actually, that's what I need to do. I need to put my line. Where's my sponge? There we are. Spend on a sec. I always forget this part. I'm going to go into that number 15. And I'm going halfway across to the edge, like that. And same thing on this side. A little more of that. That's the one tip I forgot that she had gave. All right, so we're going to clean that sponge. All right, back into that. And we're just going to dab it in. I'm 
Sabi niya, ay. Dabbing it and swiping it a little bit. Just making it even here. Spin on the side of it. That's better. So just blend as you're going along. You shouldn't have any major issues. If all else fails and you don't get a good look, wipe it off and start again. Because sometimes it's you have to do to, to learn is to redo things over and over. That's kind of how I've been doing it. Um, and it seems to work for me. All right, so I'm actually quite happy with the way that this turned out, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my sponge again. And I'm just going to highlight underneath my brow. I'm going to use that number one. Should I use number one? I'm rethinking this now. Should I use number three? Let's try number three. Me being funny here. Mm, I don't know. Let's go with number three. Just putting it right on the edge, the outside edge. Yeah. Kind of highlights it a little bit. And this side. Just using that number three with a sponge. Finished up and go put my other makeup on and we'll see what that looks like. Alright, so I'm done with the eyeshadow guys. I'm going to go put the rest of my makeup on, come back and we'll talk about this palette. Alright, see you in a minute. Right, I'm back and I put some of the rest of my makeup on. I thought I'd kind of finish up off the final steps with you. So um, just to let you know what I'm using. The lipstick I got is from Laval. Uh, it's classic burgundy. And it's very nice. I put a top on it. I've got this um, kind of shimmery light pink to white called Find, Find ID Gloss, I think it is. It's in the shade six. Um, and well, let's just some blush and uh, I've got Sleek's Rose Gold which is like the cult um, dupe for NARS or Orgasm and it's absolutely gorgeous and it's so cheap under five pound um, so you don't have to run out and get uh, NARS Orgasm which is the, probably one of the most popular colors of uh, blush that you can get so it's very very nice just swipe that across the top of my cheek, cheekbones and uh, just feather it out with a big um, blush brush. Blush brush. So I'm doing this rhyming today for some reason. I don't know why. Right, so just grabbing a brush here if I can find it. Hey, right, so I've got my it's a Morphe um, M150 brush. It's, a, it's for highlighting and I've got this um, um, MAC um, loose iridescent powder and I've had this for a while so I'm not sure what shade it actually is but it's, it's translucent it's just pop a little bit on my on my cheekbones just to kind of highlight that area on the other side it's a little bit that goes a long way guys so don't go mad with it and so I'm just going to do just above my brows on each side. I'm just going to do a little bit above the top of my nose. Swipe it down just about halfway. And just kind of blend that in across. Uh, mix this together. 
Right, so let's dip into that again. And we're going to do our Cupid's bow. I wonder why they call it a Cupid's bow. And I also put a little bit on my chin. So just kind of go to the, the round area of my chin. And I just highlight that a little bit. Not too, too much. So yeah. Now, finished with that. Just pop that away. <clears throat> and then I've got, which I, I bought recently, and I absolutely love, love, love this highlighter. It's called Bell. Um, I can't read it. Uh, Bell, dermatologist approved hypoallergenic face and body illuminating powder. And like this is so amazing. It's so cheap. Um, I drop a big flat headed brush and I just dip into it and it gives a soft glow. So I'm just going to pop that top of my cheeks there. And it's just so beautiful. And this is one of those I'm going to buy again and again and again. See, look at that soft focus on my chin now. It's just gorgeous. Amazon, guys, remember, it's Bell Hypoallergenic Illuminating Powder. Get some. You'll love it. Alright, so that's pretty much it for me. Um, let me just pop this away here. So this palette, the Revolution Reloaded Iconic 3.0 palette. I'll just show you what it looks like again. And it's so gorgeous. Loads of shimmers in there. I've used the nice burgundy. I've used number four. I've used this one here as well. Um, and I've just used that to make up artist. I can't remember her name. Um, I'll, I'll put it in the um, description. Put her in the description so you can um, go see her web page and go look at her tutorials. And, um, so yeah, absolutely gorgeous. I love this look. Very, very nice. Um, it's kind of smoky and pink and light pink in the areas, in the eyes. It's very nice. Um, so I got off Revolution's website. Uh, can't remember exactly how much I paid for it, but it can't be too expensive. Uh, I'll put it in the description for you how much the palette cost. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I'm happy with the way that it goes on. Um, it uses the sponge not too bad. Um, it's, there's no fallout or anything like that that uh, I noticed. So it goes on fairly easy. Um, and it's nice. It's a very nice, soft look. Um, if you want to go for out or if you just want to wear it during the day, it works both ways, really. So that's really good. Right, so if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, maybe, please let them know. Give me a message uh, in my message box and I'll get back to you. I check my messages pretty much every day. So I'll catch up with you, I'm sure. We'll have a talk, maybe, or just message back and forth. Um, so yeah, um, please again, don't forget if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and you'll get notification whenever I get a new video that pops out. Um, so that sounds funny, you have a new video that pops out. Get a new video that pops up. <laughs> All right, anyways, that's pretty much it for me, guys. I appreciate you, you um, following me on this uh, video tutorial today. I hope you really like the look that you've, you've got. I'm quite happy as well. So that's it for me. I'm going to head off now and go to some bits and pieces. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Alright, see you then. Bye for now. Mwah.